These things you're linked to me, right? Well, get ready to switch off! real. Okay, then maybe she'll, I don't know, I mean, help us somehow. She would, if she could. But she's not my mother anymore. Then who is she? Their queen. Come on, time to get out of here. got their queen. And Nas is right about what happens next. We need a new plan. No, we need the old plan. We need the Hammer of Dawn. Oh, thank God. Looks like you need a ride. How'd you find us? You think I'm gonna give you a one-of-a-kind piece of tech without the ability to track it to the center of the planet? Yeah, yeah, fine. And speaking of one-of-a-kinds, help me hook up this skiff. You find what you're looking for? Yeah. And now we need to kill it. Is she, you know, all right? Not really. But let me ask you something. How long would it take to get the Hammer of Dawn up and running? Funny you should ask. The data drive you found months ago about the UIR. Yeah? Interesting stuff. Interesting how? You'll see. And lucky for us, I have an old UIR contact. Take us home, Sam. Got it, sweet cheeks. Independent Republic secret space program. Huh? Never been in UIR territory before. Uh, you still haven't. Vaskar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying, uh, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. <laughs> so
So, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the COG publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kind of triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly. Or stupid. Or weak. <laughs> Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and, uh, come and see me before you go. Notice the part where no one showed us a look. I don't care. We'll make it work. If we have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw on that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on, let's just go see Bear. Ah, good, you're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. A couple days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it hijack. Go ahead. Try it out.
Show him what you got, Jack. Whoa. You figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with Vulcan. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Baird. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie and the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. Had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. This paddock, how do you know him? We were in a squad together, believe it or not. Also got cord marked together. We kind of bonded. So you trust him? Well, he threatens to never speak to me again every time I see him. But beyond that, yeah, I trust him with my life. Had a guy's accent? It's Garazzi. Yeah, and? And they kind of had a rep back in the day. Torture, war crimes. Remember where I come from, the cog had the same rep. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then, everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly, they were wearing armor. And they started making bees. Take one, if you want. So, you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes. Which is why I agreed to let Baird come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way up. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing. Could be something. Check in. All right. And now the big quest. Are your children ready to prepare for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. weapons. That is reassuring. So, I suppose you're curious about how Baird and I met. Yeah, sure. General Carr, Alvo Bay, the light mass list. I doubt these words mean much to you. Don't be so sure. Well, it might amuse you. No, I fought for the call once. Alongside your friend, Bear. He showed me that not all calls are bad. They're just... Okay. Good talk.
I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert pointers. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Never seen weird formations like this before. It's sand. Zapped and superheated by a lightning flare. Oh, yeah? How does that work? High shock pressure. It changes the sand's atomic structure. You my friend, Mr. Calling. We should be teaching science. Yeah, well. Bear, are we expecting anyone? No, we are not. Well, this can't be good. I don't believe this. I hope you're not here to stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay, because I'm here to help, if you'll have me. I'm sorry, what? Dad told me about Mount Kadar, what you learned, and... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin... doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man. If you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? Okay, man. Before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like... Like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, Del. I know that. So who showed up today? All right, I know why we're here. But where are we going? An old rocket hangar, to the east. And just a heads up, the Nomads could use some help, too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it, and make the last few months disappear. Del, come on. No, it's OK. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being all reasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency's rubbing off on me. <laughs> Delta, Paddock just let me in on something. It's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. <laughs> Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machine. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood.
be the rocket hangar. So let's park this thing and find an old rocket. Paddock said there's plenty of swarm out here, so stay sharp. Shit, they're here. So, how are we handling this? Quite the welcoming party. Come on, let's get inside. Okay, that'll work. Oh shit! Marvel oh, coming from the main building! Robert, keep it back! Yeah, my bitch! Spin those turrets around!
That's it. They're done. Good night. Paddock, the swarm tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. Let's get inside. Help me. So, where do we go? The place looks huge from the outside. It's gotta have a mission control. Or command center. Or whatever the UIR called it. Eh, hey, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. It's close. all this sand. Way to keep it light, Files. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. the other side of that class. <laughs> Anyone gonna hit the lights? Can't see fuck all. Well, the lights work at least. And I'd say we found the rocket hangar. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rocket. Paddock, Baird. The hangar's empty. Well, shit. If the rocket was moved, there's gotta be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Hey, Jack. Let's pull some records. Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. Ooh, that's some nasty malware. Adaptive. Semi-sentient. Don't worry. Jack's got this. Right, buddy? Huh. No virus to stop, Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Paddy, I assume you can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, 
Let's go find those satellites. Fox, you're past Gari. Did you have read those files? Nah. I was born in New Ephira. My parents wouldn't even speak as far as me growing up. Didn't want to see them different. We could have hidden half a city in here. Massive. Yeah. Don't envy whoever had to build it. Jack, bring it over. I'm taking this. Finally, something I can try. Come on, you lot. All aboard. Take us across. With pleasure. One thing, children. I mentioned how the UIR attacked that facility and tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. Yeah. I led that attack. You did? Why? To destroy the cog. Yeah, well, makes sense. Uh, these days, I'm somewhat less interested in destroying the cog. Good to know, Paddock. Let's go. This way to the satellites. Give me a hand. Well, no satellites here. Let's keep looking. Paddock, I'm curious. How long did your siege against this place last? Three days. We attacked the moment Premier Deshinko sat down with your chairman to discuss the armistice. You hit us with the hammer first. We thought it was only fair to hit back. Okay. Move on. Paddock, Baird. 
Ran into some swarm, but we're back on track. Also, Paddock, the cog that hammered you 50 years ago isn't us. We're not them. Well, if you launch those satellites, you'll be doomed to make the same mistakes. What is this knob even on about? with this before Paddock starts talking again. I heard that. one. So, let's keep looking for those satellites. There! By the door! More of the hammer yourself but now you're saying it's a mistake what gives you launch you buy us some time but eventually they'll win you must know this no i don't <laughs> doors welded shut then that's the door you want Well, 
Jack could cut that door open. Jack, rip that door. Let's get set up. They're coming. Someone get on that turret! Oh shit, we got poppers! Don't let them get too close! hadn't have left Asgard. My dad might have been here fighting off Paddock's men. You, Vascari, what did your father do? He was a surgeon. <laughs> then he was lucky. We shot every doctor we captured. Uh, can we turn him off? Huh? <laughs> 
taking this. Should be through here. Grab the other side. Gotcha. We found the nose cone. Oh, man, but it's missing satellites. Wait. I see the others. Either side of the chamber. Let's get on that gantry. We'll load them up one at a time. Good idea. I'll drive. Bring the gantry in closer, Jack. Just like the last one. Come on, let's do this! Should we hit first? Make the call. Choices, choices. All right, off we go then. Uh, having a problem, pal? No, just figuring it out. So our friend Patrick's got some uh, interesting thoughts on the Hammer of Dawn. <laughs> Who's he to judge? He tried to launch it himself. Okay. Let's get that thing loaded onto the nose cone. Maybe it just needs a nudge. Okay, okay. Maybe it needs more of a shove. right about launching the satellites. Oh shit! Swarm on the other platform! We're sitting ducks down here! Boss, get us higher! On it! Oh. 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 
Oh, shit! This is the opposite of higher? I'm aware of that. Got it! Got it! Just keep us moving! Doing my best! so we can connect the satellite. Let's get this done. like the other one.
There. Losers to love that he keeps you like half the good Watch your head. Here comes satellite number two. Satellite secure. Back onto the gantry. Let's get him to the hangar. Uh, not to burst any bubbles, but we're not getting anywhere till we open that big round door. Uh, well, there's a platform up there. Head over to it. You read my mind. All aboard! Okay, let's get up there. Okay, so what a bad idea. Launching these satellites is a bad idea. He's right that the hammer's dangerous. Believe me, get that now. Not launching these satellites is dangerous. Believe me, a world on fire is better than the world they want. We get this thing back to the hangar. We worry about the rest later. Let's try this. Guys, our rides leave. God damn it. Opening that door must have triggered some automated sequence. So we babysit it on foot then. And I was just getting the hangar driving it. Come on, up these stairs. We can't lose that nose cone. Let's keep up with it. Watch it below us. Drop the hostile. Are you kidding me? Way through over here. There it is. Let's keep up. Paddock, Baird. We're escorting the satellites back to the hangar now. Good. We're still decrypting these old files, but we're making progress. Head out to your skiff. We'll find your rocket soon enough. All right. We're on our way. Jack, we need some light.
Once we're back in the hangar, we can work our way outside. Need some help. We want to get out of here, we should cross to the other side. down. Let's keep it moving, Delta. <sighs> Looks like we're all clear. Okay. So you know, whether we get the hammer working or not, I'm glad we came. Yeah, that's it. If we don't get the hammer working, whether you came or not, it won't matter. Just find a way back. Over there! Incoming! <laughs> burst apart like that. Yeah, pretty much. Our way out's above us. Let's get up there. so difficult. Hmm. A scientist. scientists. Rocket scientists. And anyone who's used the expression, it's not rocket science. What do you think? We just push a button mark to launch? Oh, awesome. Yeah. Pick on the handsome one. Cut him down to size. So, we're back across. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one, okay? Paddock, we're almost out of here. Any leads on that rocket? Yes. 
It's at a turntable in the east, beyond the Dune Sea. There's a rail bridge blocking the way, but don't worry. My people will raise it for you. So, out in the desert, find train tracks. Then you'll know you're on the right path. Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. You know, all this time I thought I was the answer. Oh, dear God. Still there? I got a question for you. No, I'm on launch break. Of course I'm still here. Okay, what exactly stops you from launching the hammer? The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. You know, you could just have agreed to the armistice. And spared a lot of lives. A Groznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Gorazian proverbs justify war? Eh, most of them. All right, let's head out. Children, one more thing. The bridge controls weren't network, so the base commander's virus didn't affect them. But the bridge itself hasn't been lifted in decades. What are you saying? You worried about your people not being able to raise it? No, they'll handle it. But that bridge, it's old and rusty and... Uh, just, when you're beneath it, don't linger. Copy that. All right, you heard him. Let's head for the bridge. So, this Paddock, how does Baird even know him? Apparently, Paddock served in the COG for a while. That guy was COG. When? Unclear. They didn't seem that eager to talk about it either. I'll take that bridge. Come on, let's get past the bridge and over to that turntable.
or whatever you call it. Guys, we're getting close. Those are launch towers. And check it out! There's the rocket! Is that... Is that mounted on some kind of train? Then that's how we'll get it back to the hangar. Our rocket train's facing the wrong direction. Which is why it's called a turntable. Grab the other side and let's get in there. Okay, now, how do we turn this thing? We started by finding a control room. turned around. I'm taking this.
Need another pair of hands here. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the controls. Pointed toward the hangar. Jack, get that train pointed toward the hangar. the skiff. Oh, 
Bravo's coming in! training facility for the beacons. Good to know. We're standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple. And the COG also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. We can all agree on that one. Guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The cog happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cog? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could rope my fist into the discussion again. Yeah, thanks for that. Oh, 
Okay, Paddock. We're here. Listen. During our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Thanks in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby's security office. What if your bot sent out a pulse? Maybe that will show us the way to get in there. Send Jack through that vent. Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Activating Delta. See, I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. 
Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the centrifuge. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red Condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a Condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. Trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah, that way. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. Haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. Between Paddock's Civil War and the weather, they crawled in anywhere. Up here. 